I needed one six six eight to six seven five. Prater ut aneas pelago tuus omnia circum litera jactetur, od is unonis acerbi. Now we're going to flip flop this. This is an astrophe. This is going to be that. It's going to be a big old substantive clause. It's called a substantive clause. It really, oh, I'm sorry. It uh, goes all the way to the end here. And the main verb is here, nota est tibidi. It is known to you. And notice how Virgil delayed this very late in the sentence. It is known to you that and here comes the substantive clause. I call it a substantive clause because it basically acts as a noun. It's like it's the subject of this nota est. That your brother Aeneas, all around, all around all the shores on the sea, Yoctator is tossed. Now, this is a true passive. This isn't deponent. This is not... Um, uh, a Greek middle, which we've seen before. This is a true passive. When you see passive verb form, look for that ablative, and there it is right there, ablative of means. He, uh, how he was tossed by the hatred of harsh Juno. That's known to you. This is uh, A because it's neuter plural nominative. All these things are known to you. And listen to the sound here. Nostro doluisti saipe dolore. So these two sounds making a nice bridge for us. And they are cognate, right? You grieved often with our grief. Lovely. Nunc, now Phoenicia dido, Phoenician dido, tenet, holds, indicative, blandisque morator, and delays with um, flattering walkibus terms. Et vereor, and I am afraid, quo se unonia vertant hospitia. To what direction, or whither, Juno's kindnesses turn themselves. All right, so this is the subject. Here's your verb. It's present subjunctive in an indirect question. The question word is quo, in what direction, to where, and the do is say. So we should be say, say. So we have a verb of fearing, uh, and then a question word. It could also be a clause of fearing, yes, but we have a question word here, so that kind of trumps it, I guess. I would take either answer, though. So Dido's anxiety, uh, excuse me, uh, Venus's anxiety is that she doesn't know which way Dido's going to go. And she doesn't know which way Juno's going to go. So lots to worry about here for a mother. How tanto kesabit cardinerarum? Kesabit. Clearly a future indicative. She will cease how not at all. Tanto cardine, at such a hinge, a turning post rerum of affairs. Now this cardine is really uh, pretty literal. I'm not using that uh, metaphorically too much. It literally is this sort of post that was stuck into a door, right? Door is here, and the post went into the floor and the ceiling. And that's what let it hinge. <clears throat> and that's what things rotated on. That was kind of a fulcrum for the door. So very uh, metaphorically used here. Quo circum capra ante. Elision there. Quo circa caperante dolis et kingere flama. Regina meditor. I am plotting, there's your main verb right there, for this reason, two things. One, present active infinitive here, to capture, ante, beforehand, and two, to surround, 
And so this ablative goes with this. This ablative goes with this to capture beforehand with tricks and to ring her around with fire. Fire, this is a persistent metaphor in the Aeneid. We have instances of people becoming inflamed with love, cities burning, Troy burning, uh, Carthage burning, the queen burning with love. So uh, keep your eye on flames and conflagrations. And so here we've got a nice synchesis word order here, A, B, A, B. And Regina, she is the Dio of both of these infinitives. The poor queen is unaware of these plots and machinations that are me being made against her. I'm plotting this nay. Okay, so this is negative purpose clause here. You can see I wrote that here, negative purpose. That's why we've got a present active subjunctive, mutet. It's a first conjugation verb. So it's got an E to turn it into subjunctive. Also down here, we've got this action and a second action here. Uh, teneatur. This is also a present subjunctive. It's passive. So these two actions are the um, verbs of the purpose clause. Lest she change herself, change her mind. That's the idea there. And we're talking about Dido here. Quo numine, by some divine intervention. And this quo is short for ali quo, because after si nisi numen ne, the ali in aliquis goes away. And so that did go away, leaving quo, meaning the indefinite adjective, lest any divine will change her mind. And then, but instead, and ut is left out here, so ne up here for negative purpose, ut down here for positive purpose. She follows up with what she does want to have happen. She's plotting in order that mag nine ai mecum teriatur amore, that she be held with me with a great love. Look at that span there. With the great love of Aeneas. And yeah, you guessed it. We got another hoagie here. Here's half the bun here, half the bun here. This uh, magno is modifying this ablative of means here. This is an ablative after a passive verb form. When you see a passive verb form, look for the ablative of means right there. And there it is, amore. And so this is like a little uh, embrace. Love is literally embracing Aeneas and me, Aeneas and his mother, who is indeed the god of love. And this is a make em, one of the, uh, the, what is it, the four of them, make em, take em, sake em, nobis cum, wobis cum, quibis cum. Well, that's actually six. Those are the six anastroph anastrophic uh, enclitics where the cum is attached to the pronoun and kind of flip-flops there. So when you see an a, a passive verb form, look for the ablative.